North Korean leader Kim Jong Un was recently seen mourning the death of elderly military official Hyun Chol Hae, seen as a mentor to Kim because he apparently played an important role in grooming him to succeed his father Kim Jong Il, whose entourage he was a part of. But Hyun did not manage to join Kim Jong Un's inner circle. So, who are the trusted few? Kim Jong Un's wife Ri Sol Ju is effectively his closest aide, marking a shift from his father's style of having a public entourage and keeping the women in his life private, including multiple wives over the years. By contrast, Kim Jong Un seems to make family the core of his inner circle. He's often seen with Ri at public events, including Pyongyang's most recent military parade, where she was placed in a prominent position amid efforts to promote her status as respected first lady, a special title not used since 1974 until it was given to Ri in 2018. She's also been involved in diplomacy, and together with him. Ri may be raising the next North Korean leader among their reported three children. Speaking of family, it's no secret that the leader's sister Kim Yo Jong has risen to prominence since attending the Winter Olympics in South Korea in 2018. She's been heavily involved in diplomacy since then, often making statements with the confidence of representing her brother. Her official role is Deputy Director of the Workers' Party's Publicity and Information Department, but her family status means she's often seen as the whole country's number two. It's unusual for North Korea to have two prominent women, but we can add another to the list. From pop star to politician, Hyun Sung Wal also gained global fame when she led an art troupe that the North sent to the Winter Games in South Korea. In addition, she took part in inter-Korean talks, and her political positions also have been cemented over the years. Her inner circle status often sees her accompany Kim Jong Un, helping to organize his events in a role comparable to that of a protocol secretary. It seems she's learned from the South during recent engagement too, given the fancy effects during recent North Korean public events. There are three prominent men to mention here too, however, and they're all significantly older than the women we just mentioned. Firstly, a politician often called Kim Jong Un's shadow because he's so often with the leader. In his mid-60s, Cho Young Wan has bloomed fairly late, but has been climbing up a series of influential posts under Kim Jong Un and was one of the very few seen wearing the same leather jacket as the leader at a previous military parade, an indication of their closeness. If Cho Young Wan is the rising political star, then Park Jong Chan holds that honor in the military, apparently helping to develop the country's firepower and developing strategic weapons, having been handed a series of promotions despite a setback in 2021 when he was demoted due to a grave incident related to North Korea's COVID-19 quarantine efforts. And what's significant is that you have two major bodies in North Korea, the Workers' Party and the military, and Kim may be ensuring their loyalty by keeping people like Cho and Pak close. Finally, we should also mention Che Ryong Hae, a familiar face among North Korea watchers, who's the only member of Kim Jong Il's entourage to retain prominence under Kim Jong Un. And in fact, his family history can be traced back to Kim Il Sung alongside whom his father was a guerrilla fighter. Perhaps he's added legitimacy to Kim Jong-un's regime, especially during those uncertain early years. But he has continued to play an important role in government, inspecting facilities on the leader's behalf and engaging in diplomacy with China. Though coming full circle, there is also a family connection here because Che is reportedly the father-in-law of Kim Yo-jong. <laughs>